Let's go straight to the Indian capital, New Delhi, where India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Maldives President Soli are scheduled to hold a joint press conference. Your Excellency Ibrahim Mohammed Soli, President of the Republic of Maldives, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I welcome you to this ceremony where we shall witness a few shining examples of India-Maldives bilateral cooperation in the form of development projects and exchange of MOUs agreements. This would be followed by press statements by our two leaders. We begin the program by watching a video clip presenting an overview of India-Maldives development cooperation. India has been a key partner in the socio-economic and infrastructural development of the Maldives. Several key projects have been completed in the past under this partnership. The National College for Policing and Law Enforcement in Addu is India's largest grant project in the Maldives. Our bilateral partnership has made significant strides in recent years with a number of major development projects currently being carried out in the Maldives under Indian assistance. Among these, a road and drainage development project is being undertaken in Addu city. Under this project, a drainage system of 103 kilometers will be built, helping to alleviate flooding experience during seasonal rains. In addition, 107 kilometers of road will be developed by the end of August 2023. The project for reclamation and shore protection in Attu was initiated in March 2022. It will create close to 200 hectares of land that will further contribute to development of Addu as a hub of economic activity in southern Maldives. India is also aiding the design and development of water and sewerage facilities across 34 islands in the Maldives. It is the largest climate adaptation initiative being carried out in the Maldives under concessional credit of over 100 million US dollars. This project is closely linked to improving the well-being and livelihoods of communities across the country. India is happy to support efforts to preserve Maldivian culture and heritage as evidenced by the project for conservation and preservation of Male Friday Mosque. Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered assistance for this project during his visit to the Maldives in 2019. This project is being carried out with technical support from the Archaeological Survey of India and the project is estimated to be concluded by July 2023. India has been a true ally and trusted development partner of the Maldives. Long live the Maldives-India partnership. Next, we shall witness a video clip on the landmark Greater Male Connectivity Project in Maldives. India and Maldives enjoy a strong bilateral relationship. Both countries share sturdy cultural links and the bilateral relations have been nurtured and strengthened by regular contacts at the highest levels. Strengthened by regular contacts at the highest levels. As part of its neighborhood first policy, India is focused on delivering benefits like greater connectivity, improved infrastructure, and broader people to people contacts in Maldives. The Greater Mali Connectivity Project aims to connect the capital Mali with adjoining islands of Vilingili, Gulifalu, and Tilafushi. This will decongest Mali while helping in the development of a port at Gulifalu, which is also being funded through an Indian line of credit. At Gulifalu, to connect the capital Mali with adjoining islands of Vilingili, Gulifalu, and Tilafushi. This will decongest Mali while helping in the development of a port at Gulifalu, which is also being funded through an Indian line of credit. At Gulifalu, the government of Maldives is also planning a residential township. The Greater Mali Connectivity Project is being funded by an Indian grant and a line of credit. This development cooperation is based on Maldives' priorities. The project is being executed by Indian infrastructure major Afghans. The Greater Mali Connectivity Project involves construction of a 6.69 km sea connecting link, including 3.6 km of marine viaduct with navigation bridge spans and 3 km of at-grade roads. A wide variety of marine fleet 
has already been deployed in the project. A significant amount of additional marine equipment will be mobilized as the project progresses. The Greater Mali Connectivity Project is a testament to a deep and enduring India-Maldives relationship. It's a strong reflection of a shared commitment to development and democracy and to a partnership that delivers. I now request both the leaders I now request both the leaders to kindly mark pouring of the first concrete of the project by jointly pressing the launch button. Thank you, sir. Next, we shall view a video clip prepared to review the progress on construction of 4,000 social housing units being Okay. Next, we shall view a video clip prepared to review the progress on construction of 4,000 social housing units being constructed in Hudumale. Providing affordable social housing is among the priority pledges of Government of Maldives. In order to enhance the quality of life of the residents of Greater Mali region, the Government of Maldives has initiated the development of 4,000 housing units under two projects. FDC JMC Housing Project and FDC NBCC Housing Project. The projects are supported by India through a bias grade facility from the Exim Bank of India. The extension of India Maldives cooperation to the social housing sector stems from our flourishing development partnership. Located in Hulumale Phase 2, the two projects will comprise the development of 2,000 housing units each. Both projects will consist of 900 square feet three bedroom units and 650 square feet two bedroom units. FTC JMC housing project is valued at US dollar 137 million and the FDC NBCC housing project is valued at US dollar 130 million. The construction of the projects has now commenced. The projects aim to provide affordable housing for target populations through rent-to-own model and encourage home ownership for first-time buyers. These projects will cater to a total population of 20,000 people. Excellencies, we shall now proceed with the exchange of six documents between our two countries. First. We have the MOU on capacity building and training of members of local councils and women development committee and staff of local government authority. This will be exchanged from the Maldivian side by His Excellency Ahmed Khalil, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, and on the Indian side by Sri Giriraj Singh, Minister for Rural Development and Panchayati Raj. Next, we have a MOU for cooperation in the area of cyber security. This will be exchanged on the Maldivian side by His Excellency Ahmed Khalil, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, and on the Indian side by Sri Ashwini Vaishnav, Minister of Railways, Communications, Electronics and Information Technology. Third, we have a MOU on collaboration in potential fishing zone forecast capacity building. This will be exchanged from the Maldivian side by His Excellency Fayaz Ismail, Minister of Economic Development, and on the Indian side by Dr. Jitendra Singh, Minister of Earth Sciences, Oceanography, etc.
Number four is a MOU on cooperation in the field of disaster management. This will be exchanged from the Maldives side by His Excellency Ibrahim Amir, Minister of Finance, and on the Indian side by Sri Manu Mahavar, High Commissioner of India to the Maldives. Number five is an agreement between Exim Bank of India and Ministry of Finance of the Maldives for police in infrastructure. This will be exchanged from the Maldives side by Commissioner of Police Mohammed Hamid and on the Indian side by Ms. Harsha Bangari, Managing Director of the Exim Bank of India. And finally, we have a letter of intent on buyer's credit funding, approval of US dollars 119 million for additional 2,000 social housing units to be constructed in Hudumale. This will be exchanged from the Maldivian side by His Excellency Ibrahim Amir, Minister of Finance, and on the Indian side by Mrs. Harsha Bangari, Managing Director of the Exim Bank. Excellencies, this concludes the exchange of agreement ceremony and now request the spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs to conduct the rest of the proceedings. Your Excellency, Mr. Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, President of the Republic of Maldives, Honorable Prime Minister Shinarindra Modi Ji, Honorable Members from both countries, distinguished members of the delegation, friends of the media, we will now have the press statements. May I now request Honorable Prime Minister Shinarindra Modi Ji to make his press statement. Sir, the floor is yours. Your Excellency, my friend, Rajpati Soli, Dono delegations ke sadasya, media ke pratiniti, namaskar. Sab se pahle mein apne mitra Rajpati Soli aur unke delegation ka Bharat mein swagat karta hoon. पिछले कुछ वर्षों में भारत और मालदीव के मित्रतापूर्ण संबंधों में नया जोश आया है हमारी नजदीकियां बढ़ी है महामारी से पैदा हुई चुनौतियों के बावजूद हमारा सहयोग एक व्यापक भागीदारी का रूप लेता जा रहा है फ्रेंड्स आज राष्ट्रपति सोली के साथ मैंने कई विषयों पर व्यापक चर्चा की हमने हमारे द्विपक्षीय सहयोग के सभी आयामों का आकलन किया और महत्वपूर्ण क्षेत्रीय एवं वैश्विक मुद्दों पर भी विचारों का आदान प्रदान किया अभी कुछ देर पहले हमने ग्रेटर माला कनेक्टिविटी प्रोजेक्ट की शुरुआत का स्वागत किया यह मालदीव का सबसे बड़ा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट होगा हमने आज ग्रेटर माले में 4000 सोशल हाउसिंग यूनिट्स उसके निर्माण के प्रोजेक्ट का रिव्यू भी किया मुझे ये घोषणा करते हुए प्रसन्नता है कि हम इसके अतिरिक्त 2000 सोशल हाउसिंग यूनिट्स के लिए भी फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट देंगे हमने 100 मिलियन डॉलर की अतिरिक्त लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट देने का निर्णय भी किया है ताकि सभी प्रोजेक्ट्स समयबद्ध तरीके से पूरे हो सके फ्रेंड्स इंडियन ओशन में ट्रांसनेशनल अपराध आतंकवाद तथा ड्रग्स तस्करी का खतरा गंभीर है और इसलिए रक्षा और सुरक्षा के क्षेत्र में भारत और मालदीव के बीच करीबी संपर्क और समन्वय पूरे क्षेत्र की शांति और स्थिरता के लिए महत्वपूर्ण है इन सभी साझा चुनौतियों के खिलाफ हमने अपना सहयोग बढ़ाया है इसमें मालदीव के सुरक्षा अधिकारियों के लिए कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग और ट्रेनिंग सहयोग भी शामिल है मुझे यह घोषणा करते हुए खुशी है कि भारत मालदीव सुरक्षा बल के लिए 24 वाहन 
और एक नेवल बोर्ड प्रदान करेगा हम मालदीव के 61 वन आइलैंड में पुलिस सुविधाओं के निर्माण में भी सहयोग करेंगे फ्रेंड्स मालदीव सरकार ने 2030 तक कार्बन एमिशन को नेट जीरो करने का लक्ष्य रखा है मैं इस कमिटमेंट के लिए राष्ट्रपति सोहली को बधाई देता हूं और यह आश्वासन भी देता हूं कि इस लक्ष्य की प्राप्ति के लिए भारत मालदीव को हर संभव सहयोग देगा भारत ने अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर वन वर्ल्ड वन सन वन ग्रीड इसकी पहल उठाई है और इसके तहत हम मालदीव के साथ प्रभावी कदम ले सकते हैं फ्रेंड्स आज भारत मालदीव पार्टनरशिप न सिर्फ दोनों देशों के नागरिकों के हित में काम कर रही है बल्कि क्षेत्र के लिए भी शांति स्थिरता और समृद्धि का स्रोत बन रही है मालदीव की किसी भी जरूरत या संकट में भारत फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डर रहा है और आगे भी रहेगा मैं राष्ट्रपति सोली और उनके डेलीगेशन की सुखद भारत यात्रा की कामना करता हूं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट हिज एक्सलेंसी Mr. Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, President of the Republic of Maldives, to make his press statement. Excellency, the floor is yours. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. Good afternoon. It is an absolute pleasure to be here again. I would like to thank you, Excellency Prime Minister Modi, the government and the people of India for the warm hospitality extended to me and my delegation during this visit. Maldives India relationship goes beyond diplomacy our values our histories and our cultures are intertwined making it a traditional relationship our centuries old relationship has grown with political trust economic cooperation and coherent strategic policies between our two countries We see this visit as an affirmation of the close bond that has that has grown between us. Our relationship has been nurtured and strengthened by regular contact. I hope that we can strengthen the ties we have with your excellency and your country. The COVID-19 pandemic has not been kind on anyone like many other nations we were also forced to flee close our borders for months the result left both our economy and people in distress was it not for the generous assistance received in the form of budgetary support medical assistance and supplies and the covishield vaccine donated by the government of india our economic recovery would have been hard and long the air travel bubble arrangement enabled the flow of economic activity the undistributed supplies of essential medicines and commodities to the maldives is evident to the strong bond we share my government took office with an ambitious development vision we appreciate india's support and generosity towards realizing this vision and fulfilling our development objectives during this visit 
the Prime Minister and I took stock of the progress made since we last met and discussed ways in which we can further expand and strengthen our relationship. The groundbreaking pouring of the first concrete ceremony of the Greater Male Connectivity Project and the construction of 4,000 social housing units that we witness today stand as testimony to the strong partnership. This moment is made even more auspicious with the approval of the Exim Bank of India buyer's credit funding of US dollar 119 million for construction of another 2,000 social housing units in Greater Madhya region. I thank the Government of India for this facilitation. I would like to thank the Government of India for facilitating the additional US dollar 100 million for the US dollar 800 million line of credit through the Exim Bank of India, which I am confident will be an added impetus to, the, to ensure the timely completion of important development projects, including the Cancer Hospital in Lamo et al. Gan and the Hanimado Airport expansion project. We recognize and thank the Government of India for the continuous support to develop infrastructure and expansion of our human resource development. We are pleased to add more agreements in various fields that will contribute to the development agenda today. The MOU signed today on cybersecurity aims to promote closer cooperation and the exchange of information pertaining to cybersecurity in accordance with the relevant domestic laws, rules, and regulations, and based on equality, reciprocity, and mutual benefit. Investing in skill development is a high priority for my government. Today, we sign important MOUs that will help enhance our human resources and development. The MOU signed between local government authority, Maldives, and the National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, India, on capacity building and training will build the capacity of members of local councils, women's development committee, and the staff of local government authority. The MOU signed between the National Disaster Management Authority of the Republic of Maldives and the National Disaster Management Authority of the Republic of India aims to enhance and promote the cooperation in the field of emergency management between our two countries. The credit line MOU signed between the Ministry of Finance of the Republic of Maldives and the Export-Import Bank of India to develop policy infrastructure of the Maldives will contribute towards enhancing cooperation between the police service and the public through neighborhood policy and ensure the social well-being and safety of our communities. The MOU signed between Ministry of Fisheries, Marine Resources and Agriculture of the Republic of Maldives and Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services and the Ministry of Earth Science Government of India will enable cooperation in potential fishing zone focused capacity. In light of the harsh lessons taught by COVID-19, the Prime Minister and I acknowledge that achieving economic resilience is exceptionally important to withstand the shock of unforeseen events. I urge investors from India to seize this opportunity as we work on building back better, to forge meaningful and mutually beneficial partnerships with the Maldives. As such, in collaboration with the Confederation of Indian Industry, we will be organizing two 
interactive business to business events in Delhi and Mumbai today and tomorrow, bringing together selected prominent representatives of leading cooperation from the Maldives and India. We welcome the operationalization of Rupee card in the Maldives and agreed to consider further measures to boost bilateral travel and tourism and economic interlinkages which could lead to mutual benefit of both countries. In addition to bilateral matters relating to education, youth and sports, defense and security, fisheries, tourism, health and IT, the Prime Minister and I also discussed international issues of mutual concern. I congratulate Prime Minister Modi for his initiative and leadership of the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, International Solar Alliance, and India's pledge to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2007. That, of course, was a joint press conference between the two leaders, the President of the Maldives and, of course, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, both the leaders stressing on the friendly yet strategic ties between India and the Maldives, which are guaranteed to be a source of peace, stability and prosperity in the region. We will, of course, bring you all the highlights from the press conference on the other side of the short break. Stay tuned to Beyond World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.